I'm the mayor, and my door is always open for you. My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Community How are you? <laughs> Still a little confused. What do you call that thing again? Um, it, a glass eye. Um, like I said, I had, I had a little accident with my stepchildren, and, um... So you can't feel this at all, can you? <laughs> uh, well, a little bit, but, uh, it's fine. It's not connected to any nerves or anything. Oh. All right. Uh, okay. Mayor's office. Uh, okay. Um, well, it's Tom Peters here. Hey, Tom. I uh, just, uh, just wanted to stop by and tell you about this little charity I'm doing some work for. Great. Uh, Love to hear about it. Um, okay. Well, uh, do you mind if I show you this web film? Uh, no. Go ahead, please. The Donnington Group. <laughs> Don't you wish you could do something to help all the poor eyeless children of the world? Well, now you can. Yes, the Donington Group, makers of fine glass eyes, have a surplus of factory imperfect glass eyes and have agreed to donate all oversized, discontinued, novelty styles, and misshaped eyes to the neediest children of the world. Won't you help the Donington Group to bring dignity to these poor eyeless children? After all, what's a dime worth anyway? Not much. Well, here's a dime, Tom. That sounds like a great charity. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think I might have led you down the wrong path there. I'm not actually allowed to take cash donations, but what we are doing is um, a hoagie sale. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite following you here, Tom. Oh, let me back up. Um, you're familiar with the father-son barrel goat hunt. Oh, absolutely, Tom. I've oh. been looking forward to it all year. Yeah, well, my son is just going nuts right now. He can't wait. <laughs> He's got to be so excited. Yeah. Um, and uh, the way it works is we got to sell 100 hoagies just to qualify for the thing. Uh -huh. um, but it's actually going for a pretty good cause. Um, all the proceeds uh, for the hoagie sales go to the Two Eyes for the Third World Foundation. Um, and the way it works is the Donington Group is going to uh, donate one glass eye for every hoagie we sell. Well, that sounds great, Tom. I, I just have one question, though. Uh, uh, what the heck is a hoagie? Oh, that's easy. Uh, it's just a long meat and lettuce sandwich. Uh, let me think about this for a second. Sign me up for one hoogie. <sighs> hey, Mayor. Uh, what are you doing here so late? Uh, who's there, please? Uh, it's Tom Peters. Oh, hey, Tom. Uh, what's up with the sunglasses? Well, take a look at these babies. Yeah. Uh, what did you What did you do to your? Uh... Well, I took your advice and replaced my real eyes with some glass ones. Okay. Uh... Listen, you wouldn't happen to have any more of those hoogies lying around, do you? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I... no, we're not doing that anymore. I, I thought you heard. City Council canceled the whole barrel goat hunt because uh, I guess last year there were some accidents with people getting hit with arrows or something. Oh, no barrel goat hunt means no hoogies. And no hoogies means no hoogies for me. Uh, I need my baby hoogies. Beware the barrel goat menace. Here walks a gentleman about town whistling without care. But behind every corner lurks the dirty vermin known as the barrel goat. Hide your pickle barrels. The vinegar quaff can send a barrel goat into a violent frenzy. And don't forget, barrel goats eat babies too. So, grab your bow and quiver and strike before a barrel goat strikes you first. So, as you can see from this documentary we just saw, the father-son barrel goat hunt just has to be a priority for Jefferton. All right, Mr. Mayor. Uh, as you may or may not know, we haven't had a barrel goat problem in several years. Uh, I'm going to disagree on that. Uh... <clears throat> Our main concern here is the killing of innocent people with, uh, let me see here, 
arrows. But if you insist, I suppose we could provide you with a few zoo goats, and uh, if you'd be able to keep the uh, hunt within Memorial Park. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that could limit the amount of innocent deaths. Well, Tom, mark me down for a hundred hoogies. And why don't you meet me in front of your house in about ten minutes, and we'll practice for the goat hunt, partner. Oh, uh, well, for the record, uh, I was planning on partnering up with my son. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wrong again, buddy. The barrel goat hunt is back on! Tomorrow night, teams of two will search out a swarm of these filthy critters and shoot to kill. You know, the teams consist of a shepherd and an archer. That's right, Jan. I did a little bit of research last night, and I found out that it's the shepherd's job to pin down that goat and open him up so the archer has a clean shot at him. Well, I hope we can get some free goat steaks out of this whole thing when it's all over, huh? <laughs> Wayne? Wayne? <laughs> Wayne? Wayne! All right, troops, uh, gather around. I have uh, some good news and some bad news for you here. Um, good news is, uh, the mayor drafted me to be his uh, partner. Thank you. As you know, I've been looking for some quality FaceTime with him, so it works out. Oh, and the bad news is, uh, Brendan, unfortunately, uh, you'll have to sit this year out, uh, you know. Of course, I'll be needing to borrow your sleeping bag. Uh, I gotta go meet up with my partner for the pre-hunt sleepover. <laughs> nice one, idiot! You know, you're always there for me. You're my hero, big guy. Oh, I think about you all night. I just want to grab you and just hold you all over. Oh, well, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Mwah! <laughs> oh, oh, is that you, Tom? Go back to sleep, buddy. All right. <laughs> Good night. Uh. Greetings, Jefferson. The Donington Group, and two eyes for the third world. Would like to thank you all personally for your generous donations, totaling one hundred and thirty dollars. Yes, it looks like we'll be able to craft three point four eyes for underprivileged children. Thanks for making a difference, Jefferson. Now let's go hunt those goats. Huh, Baker? I don't think I can. I can. Now, let's go hunt those goats! <laughs> well, partner up and pull that bow. Everybody sit out and get that goat. <laughs> Mr. Archer, get that goat inside. Shiver better hold that goat down tight. You gotta strike first so the bear goat will Will Mayor, the goats just broke through the police tape Tom, get me to my scooter Let's get those darn goats Oh, the goats just left their designated spot <laughs> Better take it to the streets and get this bear goat caught Whoa. Okay, straighten her out Whoa. Straighten her out, there you go Whoa. Got me, Shepard, guide me Hold her steady, hold her, hold her steady. <laughs> yeah. Wait, turn back! There he is, I got him. All right, now, easy fella. That's a boy. Sheppy, where's that goat? I have him, I have him, I have him right here. Just, just everyone relax. I'm sorry, boy, we'll try to make this quick, honey. Uh, all right, hold it, left, right, aim lower, aim lower. Open her up for me, Sheppy! Dear Joy, uh, I have some bad news. It looks like I'll need to establish residency here for one year to qualify as an orphan uh, to receive my free eye through the Two Eyes for the Third World program. This is unfortunate because I've yet to take to some of the spices they use in the food here. 
I also hope that I'm not swayed by one of the many religions they have to offer. <laughs> See you in about a year. Love to the boys, Tom. Absolutely.